In this video, we're going to show you how to set P2Z presets and smart detection rules with your hand tilt zoom camera. So I'm looking at my PTZ camera. I know it's an IP based PTZ, looking at the name on the left here. And you can control your PTZ camera by going, right clicking anywhere on the video of the PTZ channel, clicking on PTZ, and then you can control it using the cursor here. And you can enter a further menu by clicking this right arrow to expand the menu and calling presets by using this button and setting presets here. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is once you've positioned the camera where you want it to be, in my case I have zoomed out all the way and I'm going to set a preset now after setting it to the desired uh, location and zoom level. I'm going to go to aux config and now all I'm going to do is just make sure I select the preset number. This is going to be my first preset so I'm going to label it as one and hit set and it says preset one here. Now once I'm done with that, I'm going to right click out of that menu and I'm going to move the PTZ to another location. And you can reduce the speed of how fast the PTZ is moving by changing the speed like I did so. And now I am going to zoom in just a little bit more and hit aux config again. This time I'm setting my second preset. And before, if you want to make some changes just in the XY coordinates, you can use this cursor here. This won't let you zoom, but it'll let you move it left and right, up and down. And then I selected my number for the preset and hit set. So now it says preset 2, so my second preset has been set. Now I'm going to set my third preset. Right click out of this menu, move it to the right, or wherever you want to. And I'm going to then press aux config, put in the number 3 because my third preset hits set and it says preset 3. Now what I've shown you so far is how to set presets. Now if you want to call a preset, you type in the number and hit this button and it'll take the camera there. So now it's taking it to the presets I just configured. Now once you are finished with setting the presets you need, you can also set smart detection rules on top of the presets for your pan -tilt zoom camera. I'm going to click main menu, go to event. Now for this to work, your NVR and your pan -tilt zoom camera both need to support smart detection rules. And my three presets are listed here. You can select your channel, D1. Of course, make sure you're on the smart plan configuration page, number one. Number two, select the channel your camera's on. In my case, it's D1 or channel one. And then you can add your presets. So my presets are listed here, the three that I created. I'm gonna add all of them one by one. Once you've added all your presets, click on them and make sure that you have this setting for IVS enabled on them. This is disabled, this is enabled. Do that for all of them, hit apply. Once you're done with that, go into IVS, select the channel of your Pantel zoom camera, hit add. Now you can create a rule. I'm gonna set a tripwire rule in my case, although my Pantel zoom, my NVR has read that the Pantel zoom supports tripwire, intrusion, abandoned, and missing object detection. Tripwire is the easiest one to configure, and that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna draw. Now it's going to take a few seconds for it to load the presets that you have on, in this menu here in the top. So if I select two, it'll take me there or the camera there to the second preset and the third and so forth. I'm going to go back to the first one and I'm going to create a rule. You use your mouse to draw the rule. I'm going to draw it in the area where someone's going to be passing through. I'm going to make the camera follow someone as they move through the path of where the camera can see. So I'm creating a line here. You click and hold and drag the line where you want it to be and you let it go. And then click once more to attach it. So I'm, I can right click and end my rule. And now it shows me that it has arrows pointing in both directions. You can change the direction of the rule using A to B. In this case, A to B means from right to left or B to A from left to right. In my case, I want to track someone as someone moves from left to right. 
hit OK to save that rule. Now I'm going to add a second rule. I'm going to hit Add, go back and draw. I'm going to select my second preset. Takes a few seconds to load. Go to your second preset. And now I'm going to create another line here. So I'm going to draw a line by clicking once here and dragging it till where I want it to be and then clicking once more. And then I've got another trailing line here. You can right click and end that. Select the direction, in my case B2A. Hit OK. Hit Apply just to make sure you save your work. Now I'm going to add a third rule. Draw. Wait a few seconds. I've got that line appearing here. Now I can go to my third preset. I'm going to now draw my third line. Select B2A. Right. So what have I done? I've created three presets and I've created three rules with someone walking from left to right so that the camera can follow them. Hit apply. Now you can tell the camera to move from each preset position once a smart detection rule is triggered, in my case a tripwire. So I'm going to go into trigger and tell the camera for my rule one, which is this one here, PTZ activation. And I want it to set my first camera to go to preset two. What have I done? Let's recap. I'm telling the camera when on preset one, rule one is triggered to move the PTZ on channel one to preset two. And the track time, you want to reduce this as least as possible so you can track objects within five seconds from each preset or uh, smart detection or tripwire rule in my case. Hit apply, save your changes as you go along. Now I'm going to go and go back to preset two, the rule two, tell it to trigger on channel one, that's where my PTZ is, the preset three, once the tripwire two is triggered. Set my track time to five seconds, it's the lowest you can go. Hit OK. Save my work again. And then, when my preset three, rule three is triggered, tell it to go back and start to the beginning. Now I'm telling from rule three, go back to preset one, once you're done. And then track time, five seconds, hit OK. Hit apply, save all your work. So I'm going to exit out by right clicking. I'm going to use my PTZ to show you a little bit about what I've done. So on preset one, when someone walks by this line, it will automatically trigger it to move the PTZ to PTZ uh, to preset two. And then after five seconds after the first rule was triggered, when someone passes through here, it will trigger preset three. And only if someone passes through here. And then once they pass through here, and they pass through preset three, and the rule three, it'll go back to one. So we'll show you a quick demonstration of that. Now this demonstration just showed you how to follow someone using three smart detection rules. It's important that you have at least five to eight seconds in between um, each preset before a rule on each preset is triggered, otherwise the camera will not follow that object.